My dad surfed, so from when I was a little kid, we lived right on the beach. I started when I was like six years old. I surfed every day, not thinking it would be a career or anything. It's just something that I liked. By the time I was 14, I was one of the best surfers around. And so I just went and got a job in a surf shop as a salesman, and I loved it. Bruce Brown was making films before the endless summer. I was in all of his movies from when I was 14, 15 years old, going to Hawaii and Mexico. When I was just getting ready to graduate from high school, he called me on the phone and said he had this great trip plan, you know. And I went, sure. I got to his office, and here's the map of the world. And I went, geez, I don't know about that, because I'm graduating. I'm ready to go to the university. I'm going to be a dentist. He knew my goals. He said, well, you know, think about this. And so I went, and that pretty much changed my life. You know, I saw the whole world and started thinking more globally and about my whole life. The glamour part of the whole surfing thing is the shape. That's what makes it go a certain way, and uh, everybody surfs a little different. I wanted to shape surfboards. That's like the creative part of what we do. You know, that's how the board rides and how it feels and, you know, personalized different stuff for different people. When I was a little kid, we, we just did it for fun, never thinking of a career, but we just ripped a glass off an old board and got some saws, tools, and sandpaper and went at it. You know, when we finished, we thought, no, it's not bad, and, but it was like, terrible, <laughs> but it was fun. Last summer, I personally shaped my 32,000th surfboard that I stood there and shaped from start to finish. And at the end of it, when I'm finished and I look at it, I go, that's nice, good job. So it's still kind of rewarding. I, I enjoy it. 